A quick moving storm blanketing New Hampshire tonight and making driving conditions difficult. This car slid off I-89 in Hopkinton with state police saying they're responding to crashes throughout the state. And in Tilton, officers say this is one of multiple vehicles off roads that are snow covered and slippery. The difficult part about these storms are the ones that hit during commuter hours. The New Hampshire Department of Transportation has more than 630 pieces of equipment treating roads. For those crews, the work doesn't stop when the snow does. Temperatures can wreak havoc with the work that we've done. You know, we can tidy it all up and think we're all set, but a temperature dip can create icy conditions, and so it's important for DOT to remain vigilant and also for our travelers uh, to remain vigilant. DOT says it's doing well at this point in the season with about 60% of its winter snow budget used so far. We've kept in lockstep um, with, with what we anticipated. January was very kind to us. Um, which is why I think um, we're at that level. While the worst of the snow is over, caution is urged for the morning as well. You may be traveling and, and the roadways look what we like to call black and wet and everything looks fantastic. Temperature and elevation can change those roadways very quickly. And so as always, be careful, go slow, drive for conditions, give yourself plenty of time, no need to rush. And as always, officials are asking drivers to give each other and plow crews plenty of room. In Bedford, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.